Hey guys, Mix here, and in today's video, we are back working on the half scale NASCAR. And in today's video, we're going to be getting this thing back up and driving. So, this thing was driving before I did um, the whole body. For some of you new viewers here, um, this is my half scale NASCAR, a NASCAR, you can call it whatever you like. Before it looked like this, it was a, it had a white body and it wasn't all that exciting. So I did the Dale Earnhardt paint scheme on it and it came out amazing. But of course, right after I did that and put it onto the body, something happened with the throttle cable. I really don't know what happened, but I just cannot get it to work. <laughs> it wasn't snapped. Um, there, I couldn't find any garbage in the line. It was just not working somehow. So I just went ahead and ordered a brand new one. And also I ordered some new Zeus fasteners. So all along the body here, there are a bunch of holes um, that hook up to the frame in order to keep this, you know, body on it. And I only have one on here, which obviously is not enough. And without all of them being on there, the body isn't exactly straight. So as you guys can see, the rear tire comes out quite a bit over there. And then on this side, it doesn't come out at all. So once those Zeus fasteners are all along the body, uh, keep it in nice and straight and how it should be, everything should be straightened out fine and our clearance issues with the tires, like how we have right here, shouldn't be an issue anymore, and it will be safe to drive. Also, as you guys know, we have a pretty bad crack here in the fender. Um, right now, just like connected just by force, I guess. But as you guys know, it falls off, it dangles onto the tire, and it's not good. <laughs> and last video with this, so many of you guys said to flex tape it. And I haven't really decided if I want to try and do it or not. I might just try it anyway, because why not? It can't hurt. And I mean, if you keep sawed in half boats together, then you should be able to keep a fiberglass fender together. What I want to start off and do first, unbox um, our two packages here quick. Nothing exciting in either of them. We'll just do it anyway, and then we'll get to installing them. First off, we have the box, which contains our throttle cable. And it was pretty hard to find the throttle cable uh, this big to go across that big frame. But I found this one and I'm hoping it'll work. It's 90 inches long supposedly, so that should definitely be quite enough. So let's just take it out of the bag here, make sure it's all good. Oh yeah. <laughs> so this does seem long enough. I'm gonna go ahead and put it across the body just to make sure, um, cause it does look a little bit shorter than 90 inches. So. We'll just see though. Definitely is a really long throttle cable though. Hopefully these fit the springs that are on there. Nice and shiny ones. Here's an up close view. It's a 20 pack, so we definitely should have enough for um, all of them along the body. But guys, now let's get started on installing these. All right, so now I'm just gonna lay the throttle cable across the body. Oh yeah, all right, yep, that's definitely enough. <laughs> Plenty of enough. Awesome. So it'll definitely be way easier if I took off the body to do the throttle cable just so I can get around to all the places. But this body is kind of a pain to take on and off. So I'm just going to leave it on there. And I mean, there should be plenty of enough room to work uh, on side of here since we don't have a windshield on it. But what I want to do first is put on the Zeus fasteners, make sure that all of those fit in there correctly. And then we'll go ahead and do the throttle cable and everything else. Alrighty guys, so I just actually came over to this side and the fastener fits in there fine. So that hole up there is just smaller than the others, I guess. So I might just need to drill it out just a teeny bit bigger or try and go full force with the hammer and try and get it in there. But it's probably just better to drill it. So I guess we'll come over here to the rear side to test it out. Make sure that the new fastener fits the old springs. Okay, there we go. Fits in there pretty good. It's definitely way higher up here now. So let's do the other side. All right, so now this side is all in. Right now, um, all the places that require Zeus are on, except for the front. I just did the trunk right now, so I'll close this. This is the closest drill, but I have, um, f you know, for, to make a good circle that'll fit the Zeus good, because you don't want it too loose. I just realized something when I was messing with the front. Um, now that, since this thing is so insanely low and it bottoms out everywhere, like it's bottoming out right now as it's parked. Once the Zeus is on, watch how much higher the front goes once this is lifted up to its mounting hole. So that is actually a pretty good amount. Once I drill that hole, put it on, we shouldn't be bottoming out as much. So I just went to use my drill to drill that out, but my drill was dead. So I'm letting it charge right now. But in the meantime, uh, let's start taking off this old throttle cable and start putting on the new one. Holy, I just realized that this seat is a Kirky. That is awesome. I never knew that. 
Oh, I'm pretty sure I just found why the solder cable wasn't working. It looks like I might have got jammed between the body and cut clean in half because we still have... Yep, we still have all the cable going from that side. At least now we know, and now I know to be careful for the new cable. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just cut this, this cable off from the whole, you know, pedal assembly, just because it's it's junk. All up front here, all the wiring is all frayed, and you really don't want to mess around when it comes to the throttle cable, because it's literally what, you know, makes you go. <laughs> and you do not want that to get caught up in anything and get stuck, and you guys know the rest. So there's no point in me keeping this cable, even though it is still intact, and I could just maybe just put new rubber around it, but there's just no point. It's not worth the risk. So let's cut this thing before it does any more harm. So here comes the rest of the uh, the rubber completely off. All right, so the whole cable is out of the car. Now what I just need to do, unscrew that um, before I put in the new cable. And then I just need to take the new cable, slide this uh, the black rubber piece off of the actual wire itself. Then slide in the wire from behind from the front because um, the ball in the front can't fit through the whole pedal assembly because there's no line or anything that you could like slide it into and then like kind of hook it in. So we got to do that. Then we can run it all the way back to the car and then hook it up this end to the throttle. So guys, it is so much longer uh, from the last clip, and that is because uh, I had to do a couple customizations to the whole throttle linkage and everything for it to work with the new cable, but I just finally got done putting it on. My biggest issue was trying to figure out how the heck the new cable was supposed to attach this to this little like spring assembly that hooks onto the throttle. So I could not figure it out at all until I was messing around with it and then I saw that a little, 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 tiny little hex head that I use this Allen key for, it actually screws in and like out and clamps onto the wires and everything to hold it on. And once I figured that out, it was pretty much smooth sailing from there. I got everything mounted up. Now I just gotta zip tie the remaining cable to the frame so nothing gets caught up in any moving parts because you definitely don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna zip tie up all of that and everything and uh, all along this frame rail inside. Get that all buttoned up and then we should be good to test it out. The entire throttle cable is all buttoned down against the frame and everything. So now I'm, what I'm gonna do is push down the pedal and see if the throttle cable is moving. All right guys, so let's see. Oh yeah. That looks good. So now that we have the throttle cable working and it's working good, I wanna do one last thing before taking this thing on a test drive. It's been so long since I've driven it and that is to drill this hole just a little bit bigger so that Zeus can fit. And then that would be the last one uh, for the body and then it'll all be good to go. All right, make sure we're nice and straight. All right, there we go. For some reason, this Zeus uh, doesn't want to go in. All the other ones went in fine except for this one. So that spring might need to be tightened in a little bit. I don't have that, you know, Zeus spring adjuster, but one of my friends does. So I'm going to see if I can borrow it from him. And also we need to try and fix that crack. I just remembered before we take this thing for a spin because I don't want to risk even just taking it around the backyard like I was gonna before and like it getting caught up in the tire and just making bigger crack. So guys, we're gonna continue this video on to tomorrow and I'll see you guys then. So we are back here the next day and I just picked up my flex tape. So I just got back from the hardware store and we're gonna try this stuff out today. I'm hoping it'll work. And also off camera, I actually got all these Zeus's on. Um, so what I did is I swapped um, the one from that back corner over there over to the front because it was a little bit longer because that was one that didn't come from the package. And now all of them are on and the body nice and sturdy. So guys, let's get started on putting on that flex tape. I've never done anything. I never even used it before, so I'm going to have to read the directions and everything. So I do it all right. But I'm really hoping that this stuff will work. All right, so I just took the flex tape out of its packaging. It seems pretty simple to use, so I'm just going to... Um, cut it to the dimensions that I need, strain this all out to how I want it. All right, just like that. I'm just basically gonna, you know, cup it around this and, you know, see, see what happens. That's 
just like that. These scissors are not cutting. So I just used a razor blade, but anyway, now we just peel this backing off. All right, here we go. Oh my stick. Holy, this stuff is sticky. I messed it up. They're sticking to each other and I can't get it off. Since I wasn't able to get the tape um, between like the tire and here just because it's way too close and the tape is sticking, I'm going to go from back here and just do another layer connected to um, the, you know, the rest of it that's under here already. And we should be good to go. I can just push out all these air bubbles and everything. Then we'll just let it do its thing. So I just cut the second layer. Perfect. Sweet. This stuff so far um, is looking pretty good. It's insanely strong, which I'm actually really, really surprised about. I thought this was just some type of TV thing and everything like that, but that's actually like really, really strong. So supposedly it takes like three to four hours to like cure and 24 hours to like fully cure, but we don't got that type of time. So I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit um, just maybe give it a little shake, see how it is. And what's good about this stuff is actually paintable as well. It's not really actually that noticeable with the tape on there, but I could just go over it with the paint and then the Goodyear sticker is going to go on top of that. So it should blend in pretty good, but we'll just see how it looks over time. It's about half an hour later from the last clip and this stuff uh, feels sturdy and I'm shaking this whole thing and it feels nice and stiff. So I think it's time that we take this thing for a little cruise around the yard. I know that you guys want me to take it out onto the street as much as I do, but I cannot take it on the street yet, but I do have a big, big plan for an awesome video with this coming soon. So stay tuned for that. But for now, we're just gonna test it in the backyard. My most, my biggest worry is the front lip um, catching on like a bump on the ground and possibly like ripping off the flex tape. I doubt it because that stuff is really strong, but I guess we'll just test its durability, even though it's not fully cured yet, but we'll just see what happens. Get this thing ready to start. Turn on the fuel and choke is on. All right, here we go. Ooh. Oh yeah, right up. All right, I'm gonna let it warm up just for a little bit and then I'll hop in. A lot of you guys were wondering how I got into here and there's a latch up here on the roof. Oh, and then I just slide right down. I uh, shut the hatch, going in. <laughs> Locked in. My first drive with it, with the whole body on, so here we go.
god. I am deaf. Oh, muffler fell off. Oh, my ears. Oh, I was ripping. I was ripping. Hey guys, let's see if this flex tape is still on. Oh, wind. I was just going. I was bouncing around in there like a rag doll. And it got so loud, the muffler flew right off. Oh, man. Oh, that thing was fun. Scary, but fun. Oh, yeah, let's see. Oh, straight open headers. The fumes in there are pretty bad. I honestly thought I was on fire for a second just because it got so warm and it smelled like fuel and everything, but man, that was fun. <laughs> so this thing, I'm letting it completely air out right now, but the flex tape held that thing on there. Um, the brakes are feeling good. The body's hanging on there. Yeah, everything looks good. Oh man, I can't wait to bring this thing on the street. It's gonna be insane. Now this thing might seem slow on camera, but this thing is not in the power band yet. This thing's built. Um, it just the way it's geared, it it climbs up when it's up high. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna be ending the video here. Let me know down in the comments how you guys think. Um, the flex tape's gonna hold up as of right now. It's still hanging in there, just from bouncing around in there. Oh man, stay tuned for awesome videos with this coming soon. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, tell your friends, put the channel.